December 2nd, 2012 was the best day of my life. On this day, I made the best move that I have ever made. Asking you to be mine was something that I was definitely unsure of at first, but golly look what it's led to. I haven't always been perfect or always been a good companion to you, and I often look back and regret that. But I hope to, from here on out, be the best to you that I can be. I may not be able to always give you what you desire or what you deserve. There will be tough times and there will be times I'm sure you'll want to chop my head off. But I vow to give you all of me. I vow to always love you with all that I have. I vow to keep God first and always pray and seek His guidance. I vow to love your family like they're mine. I vow to always tell you everything and never go to bed angry. I vow to always center our marriage around Christ Jesus our Lord. I vow to always praise and honor His name with you. I vow to always keep my covenant with you. And I vow to one day hopefully raise a beautiful family with you and be the best leader and provider that I can be. I vow to always take care of your needs and be there when you need me most. Every day I thank God for giving me you. Thank you for agreeing to this beautiful thing called marriage with me. I pray the Lord's blessings always pour down on our marriage and that its purpose is to not only show love to each other but to others in order to glorify His name. Again, thank you for allowing people to tell me I have hunted my coverage. I love you. Let's get to beaching. Ryan Nicholas Morgan, you are my best friend and I thank God for bringing you into my life. Thank you for always believing in me, supporting me, and pointing me towards Jesus. Thank you for always encouraging me and never giving up on us, even when it was hard. I can't promise you that our future will never hold valleys, but I can promise that I know who holds our tomorrow. Thank you for your willingness to serve Jesus and to point others in Him and all that you do. I pray that is just what today does, as well as every day after today. I promise to be right beside you in the victories you witness and be the first one cheering you on in your accomplishments. I promise to support and encourage you to be the absolute best version of yourself that you can be. I promise to listen intently to your worries and concerns. I will be there right beside you through the storms of your life. I will never leave your side. I vow to carry your burdens, and when you hurt, so do I. I promise to pray with you and for you every single day of my life. I promise to love you through sickness, doubt, spiritual struggles, and financial issues. I promise to understand God's beautiful purpose behind being husband and wife as one. And I promise to honor and respect you as you lead me in our family. I promise to always live a life that honors God and lifts you up towards Him. I promise to keep God in the center of our relationship. I promise to be a Proverbs 31 woman and to be a godly wife with a heart after God. I promise to remain loyal and faithful to you and only you for as long as I live. I vow to choose you every single day, even when you're unlovable. I promise to be respectful with my responses and reactions and to seek forgiveness with you at any sign of discord or tension. I promise to hold your hand and to grow old with you unless Jesus comes back before then. The cord of three strands is not quickly broken. I vow to make our marriage our number one priority and to pursue oneness with you always. I vow to be the most faithful, honest, loving, supporting, encouraging, honorable, trustworthy, and sacrificial wife to you. Thank you for choosing me. I will love you forever and ever. Amen.